Shapeshifters, Mark Bartra is out as an objective. He's gone from centre back to left wing. Let's have a look at his in games. I'm hoping this is a visual glitch. I know I say it every time, but most of the time it is. And they have boosted his weak foot and skill moves up. High, medium work rates, right footed. Pretty good stats overall. I don't know how he would feel in game because we did use Voland as a centre back with the new card, and it wasn't he was okay, but he felt weird. But in terms of agility, balance, composure, everything's fantastic. Let's have a look what we need to do. I will be covering the tactics in this video as well to help you get the wins quicker. So we need to score five finesse goals using Spanish players in live foot friendly shift and shape. Get yourself a goal pack for that. Defensive maestro, assist four goals using defenders in live foot friendlies. First tip right there, if you don't have any team of seasons or anything like that, go and complete that Voland SVC as a centre-back. He's really good at passing and he will get those assists nice for you. You can do that in one game. You can do this one in one game as well if they don't quit. Win six games. Obviously, it's going to take six games minimum. Assist a goal using our league of plays in five serve matches. So you can actually do this in six games if you're lucky enough or good enough. Yeah, let your players pack. Goal players pack. So let's go have a look at our tactics. So in terms of shifting shape, we need to have minimum countries three, leagues five. And it's on classic mode. So again, this team won't work. So let's go shout to our sponsor and I'll make a team and we'll be right back. Is this your ultimate team? Do you want a team like this? Check out Alt Nice. Select FIFA 22. Once you're on the store, you can select PC, Xbox, or PlayStation. Click on Buy Now. Goes to the store. Make sure you apply code NANIC at the store to get 6% off. These are fast and reliable coins to improve your ultimate team. The link will be in the comment section down below. Here is our team. I haven't actually got any Spanish players in my club because I've put them all into upgrades. They've got a loan. Chavi. But if you don't have that guy as a Spanish player, obviously I'll show you my club quickly and you can have a look to decide if anyone was a better choice. But we just need to score, so I'll just take him up front. I've got Casillas, or I could lose loan to Thomas, for example. We will put him on the bench. Actually, we can't because I need a loan. So you can see we didn't have that many. But here's a mistake a lot of people do. And as you can see here, we've got 100 chem, which is fantastic. It's just Carrasco off. So the immediate thing I'm going to do here, as soon as the game starts... I'll show you the in-game tactics in a second. We are going to go and jump in and put him straight away up front in-game. So the game would have started. You pause the game. You make that sub. That sub being because he is a defender, as you can see, centre-back. Look at his passing for a centre-back. He only needs a 10 stats at the minute because he's off chem. But as you can see, 85 short pass, 83 long pass. It's going to help you out massively. In terms of tactics, what you want to be doing here is... Go into your custom tactics, setting up into a 4 1 2 1 2 brackets 2. Set these stats so defensive style, balance, width 35, depth 72, build up play, balance, chance creation, direct passing, whip 30. Players in the box is going to be 7. Corners is going to be 1, so you don't get counter attack on corners. And free kicks is 2. And this is how you want to set up. So we've got our Spanish guy up front. Make sure he's got good shooting, and if not, go buy someone. Then we have got Carrasco, who's on the other side, who we are going to take off for our centre-back, who's going to get the assist. So, in theory, we're going to pass with our defensive player, who is Carrasco, to Xavi, who is our Spanish player, to tick off to at the same time. In terms of instructions, it's very simple. Your left striker is going to be on default on everything, apart from attacking runs, is going to be get in behind. Your second striker, or your right-hand striker, is everything on default, apart from attacking runs, is getting behind. Defensive support is come back on defense, and I'll explain that in a minute when we go to defensive tactics. I'll explain that in a minute when we go to uh, defensive tactics. Messi, who's the cam, is just going to be on complete default. Our left centre mid, who is going to be your most defensive player you have that's not your CDM. So your CDM is your CDM, and your second most defensive midfielder goes there. He is going to be on stay back while attacking. Cover wing, everything else on default. Our right centre mid is going to be on default. But he will help attack, so these will turn into a front four attack. If you push forward with him, when you have the ball, it will be a front five attack. And our CDM will be on. Stay back while attacking, cover center. Defensive position, cover center. Make sure you put that. This is because when you do not have the ball, these will drop into a flat 4-4-2. Your two strikers, Xavi and Carrasco, will sit back behind the halfway line to give you that protection to your midfield. Messi will move to left mid, Dybala will move to right mid, or these two positions will move left mid, right mid. CDM will move to the right CM, and the left centre mid will move to the left centre defensive mid. So you're going to have these two in the middle of the park, and these two go out wide. So you are in a flat 4-4-2. As soon as you get the ball, 
These will transition straight back into this Formula 2 on 2, and you've got yourself a lot of numbers ahead. Especially if Fernandinho intercepts a ball, because Dybala, Messi, Xavi, and Carrasco will all start running to get in behind the opponent. Then you have your left back and right back on stay back and attacking, but also overlapping. And this is because when you don't have the ball, they will stay back. And when you are counter-attacking, there is an option. They will make a run, say if you intercept the ball on this side of the pitch, your left back will move up the pitch to help you as an option. Give him the ball, press the through ball to your two strikers here. He will immediately turn around and come back in defence, and there you go. That's your overlap to give you the space, and he has not come out of position. If you have any questions, as always, comment down below. If you have any problems, again, comment down below. If you are new to the channel, consider hitting that like button and subscribing, and I will catch you in the next one. See you.